Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, which study if you want to become a quant. So what are the topics that you need to know before you can apply for uh, quant jobs in uh, in banks or in, in private funds, insurance companies uh, or even fintechs. Right. So this is a broad list of topics I've come up with. Um, uh, it's very useful actually for uh, if for uh, someone who is interested uh, or someone who is looking for uh, an opportunity <coughs> in the quant quant field. Okay, so if you want to become quant, I think one must thing to know is uh, about the probability and statistics. So you really have to be strong in probability and statistics. Uh, if I've done some courses in your bachelor program or in your in your master's program, I think that's well and good. Um, but if you really want to brush up your probability and statistics, I will highly recommend, you know, going through some courses on uh, Khan Academy or doing some courses on Coursera. Actually, you know, they are they are really good some uh, probability and statistic courses. Uh, you, you need to focus on probability distribution, hypothesis testing, sampling. You know these topics. Okay. Um, you don't have to study statistics uh, a, a lot like you don't have to be a master in statistics uh, in order to you know work in quant you really need uh, only the applied statistics right in, in statistics actually you learn a lot of theory actually that's uh, you know much of that is not of much you know not of use in quant finance uh, whereas applications of statistics is very very uh, important in the quant field right probability is a very theoretical concept but it is quite uh, heavily used in many advanced theories in quant finance so probability as such is not used but uh, it's it's uh, you know you need to understand uh, probability um, at a deeper level before you can sort of understand more uh, uh, more complicated sophisticated uh, topics for example you know pricing of derivative you know those topics Right. <clears throat> you need to have good understanding of financial markets. It's not a quant topic per se, but uh, without having proper understanding of financial products, different types of markets, uh, you know, primary market, secondary market, etc. Market uh, microstructure, you know, the different jargons you use in trading and lending, it will be difficult for you to work in, uh, in the quant field. So only when if you have understanding of, you know, these non-quant uh, related topics uh, will then be able you will then be able to relate you know the mathematical models to you know uh, the applied world um, right because quantitative finance is an applied field it uses a lot of uh, academic uh, fields uh, it's it's uh, for instance statistics computer science uh, physics mathematics um, but it's an applied field Right. So unless you understand the actual products uh, in the applied world, uh, whether it's stocks or bonds or commodities, uh, you know, derivatives, you need to have, you know, some understanding of that. Um, you know, there are primarily two types of product, trading product and you have lending product. OK, trading product will have, you know, tr the, the traded assets such as stocks and bonds and commodities and interest rates derivatives etc lending will be more about loan right so there are different kinds of loan unsecured loan secured loan you know then you have further categorization you know wholesale loan retail loans even within wholesale and retail you will have you know further categorizations you need to have solid understanding of those concepts right as a beginner people will not expect you to have thorough understanding but uh, if you really want to be successful as a quant i think goes without saying that you need to have good understanding of the financial markets and the products and so on um you know m a lot of people don't give much importance to you know the the, the 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 business side of things but you know without knowing the business side of things you'll never be uh, very successful uh, if you're a beginner actually you will still be asked some you know fun you know basic questions about financial market uh, even though you don't have a, a finance background you still will be asked some of the questions not at a great detail but you need to have at least high level understanding of you know the financial products and the financial markets okay uh, another technical topic that you need to know is financial econometrics uh, it's it's you know um, it, it's a part of econometrics actually econometrics is a topic which deals with the uh, use of statistical modeling in the field of economics and financial econometrics in particular is all about use of econometrics in the field of finance right 
um you know it, it's quite heavily used in the field of finance whether you know both in the trading area but also in the lending area the many uh, academic models which are you know quite heavily used uh, regression models are used uh, you know it's linear regression logistic regression quantile regression beta regression negative binomial regression um cox proportional hazard you know those sort of models so all kinds of these models are used um you also need to have good understanding of time series models especially in in trading area time series models are uh, heavily used right time series models are used for forecasting uh, prices and returns uh, of financial assets so these models such as arima arch garge uh, error correction model these models are quite um, heavily used in the field of quantitative finance especially if you want to work in the trading area or investment area uh, you'll also need to know some thing about panel data which is uh, yeah uh, not heavily used but still good to have this some understanding you need to have understanding of survival analysis so financial econometrics is is a very important uh, you know topic that you need to know it's a course in itself actually if you do a master in quantitative finance or financial engineering Uh, one of the module will be uh, financial econometrics and you will be learning a lot of theoretical stuff you will also be using those models in the act- you know with real world data right so you know quite important um this is uh, also related to machine learning but uh, you know the way you build uh, machine learning models um is actually quite different from that in the financial econometrics although there are you know overlaps the regression models are also part of machine learning for example um then another topic would be the financial math right financial math is is an academic discipline in itself and there's you know it it's a very um, uh, you know heavy m- mathematical topic uh, so you need to really need to be really good good in probability and statistics before you can um you can you know start financial math right you need to have good understanding of calculus for example uh, differential calculus integral calculus uh you need to have solid understanding of probability um uh, right set theory um relation function you know those concept before you can you know do well in math financial mathematics uh you know stochastic calculus is is heavily used in the mm, you know cell side quantitative quant area right uh, especially if you work in big banks you will be working with uh, you know derivative areas stochastic calculus is quite heavily used and that's part of financial math and uh, yeah that's something you need to know um machine learning is becoming very popular nowadays uh, with more advancement in and successes in other fields machine learning is now gaining popularity in the field of finance not as much as it is popular in other fields such as in e-commerce or in you know other uh, other fields but but certainly it is gaining popularity um so you need to have good understanding of regression models but you know when you build regression models in machine learning actually it's it, the, the approach is a bit different compared to that in econometrics right you you use cross validation for example um in uh, in machine learning something that you do not use in econometrics um okay and then uh, you don't use sort of you know the p value you don't really care about the statistically statistical significance uh, of estimates those things are not you know part of machine learning so there are certain differences but the the reason why you build a machine learning model is also very different right you you're more um, focused on the predictions rather than the uh, finding the relationship between variables and that's um, yeah there are many ways uh, to you can do that and you can use uh, uh, you know a lot of models right uh, compared to that in econometrics you will have lot more at your disposal for example the tree based models there are you know many types of tree based model whether it's decision tree boosting bagging random forest within bo- bo- boosting and bagging you have also you know adaptive boosting gradient boosting and so on and so forth um right and you also have support vector machine and if you really want to go into the more neural network area then you can you know also try deep learning reinforcement learning is getting some popularity in the portfolio management area uh, also in in investment area trading area as well uh so you know very very important if you really want to be a quant in 21st century well in 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 2024 2025 you re- must learn machine learning actually that was not the case actually you know 20 years back if you had to you know study for quant jobs back then then machine learning wasn't really popular in fact not at all popular but nowadays you really need to know 
machine learning um, and if you know advanced machine learning like deep learning and and reinforcement learning that really a plus on your cv um derivative pricing is is uh, is a very important topic to be you know you need to know before uh, you want to be, you become a quant uh, you should have good understanding of how to price derivatives right it may not be needed actually if you really want to work in the lending area uh, right if you want to work uh, uh, in more loan based product then you know you don't need to know derivative pricing but um, if you know actually you will have more flexibility you can go to pricing and in you know, those fields uh, which are you know more lucrative actually you can make more money in, in you know becoming a quant in pricing area right in derivative areas compared to you know in more loan side so yeah you need to know blackstone model you know all kinds of theoretical models uh, to price uh, different derivative different kinds of derivatives you know um beside also you really need to know you know the fixed income security also fixed income security and uh, yeah those you know risk areas right um yeah portfolio management and how to sort of uh, you know greeks for example you know all these things you will also learn you know while learning derivative pricing uh, but these are used in in more than just derivative pricing um you should have you know decent amount of understanding of the lending and trading i have said this before but it 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 is very important that you have some understanding of credit analysis you should know how to you know how to assess credit worthiness of a customer especially a wholesale customer looking at the financial ratios and so on and so forth you can automate that through a model but before you do that can you do that yourself manually right that understanding will really help you to good build good model similarly trading is very important right you should have some un, uh, understanding of how to trade you must have you know traded yourself at least for some time um, just to get a you know an, a feel of how, how you know what are the things that that really are important in trading before you can build models for those things right so getting that fast first and experience uh, or more of front office experience is is very crucial you may not have that experience you probably will never get that if you work in the industry because you can't work in both side but uh, you know if you have studied something uh, that really helps then risk modeling right risk modeling is one area where most quants actually work okay uh, there are many areas of risk modeling where is credit risk modeling market risk modeling operational risk modeling asset liability management modeling all these areas so these are very you know very uh, domain specific uh, areas actually you know you will probably not get much of content about you know these areas uh, on the public domain uh, or the the content that you will find may be very academic in nature uh, but you really need to you know have some understanding of you know these models such as the pdlgd ed models in credit risk you know the market risk models as a value at risk expected shortfall type models alm models and the, you know these are more regulatory models so having understanding of these things on you and and if you put this you know names on the cv actually really will impress the interviewer actually uh, so you know good to have understanding of that um right um the b- b- beside that uh, yeah if you really uh, want to be a quant in a hedge fund or a private fund or family office you need to have understanding of how to do you know quantitative trading right so um you know some of the models for example the sma ema models the mean reversion models uh, how to do you know pair trading um the some simple quant trading models but there are also some more academic more uh, you know academic type models uh which which you must have some understanding of that of course you know the real world is very different actually in in the quant trading area you will never be able to learn the real world problems uh, through a course or through a book actually but having basics understanding of the basics will go a long way right so these are some of the models that you know you should try learning um then beside you also need to learn some of the finance related topics such as corporate finance um Uh, you know valuation techniques behavioral finance you should have understanding of macroeconomics you should have understanding of uh, risk management uh, or you know regulations related to risk management whether it's credit risk management uh, market risk management all of that 
um, it's never easy to find all these topics in one area. But yes, uh, if you really want to learn, you, really, you need to do a course or you need to study some books. I do have a course, you know, you can find the details here. If you want to reach out to me, let me know. Um, I can provide the details. You will learn most of these topics in that course. Uh, Besides that, uh, on the programming side, you need to have, you know, some experience with Python. Um, yeah, Python and one other language, right? Python is the most popular language nowadays in quant field, but uh, SAS is also used in banks. R is also used in many places. C++ is used in the derivative side. Um, MATLAB is also used now, you know, it's, it's been in use for many, many time, right? There are other languages such as C sharp and all, even Java is used in quant uh, development areas. Uh, you can't be a master in everything, just, you know, pick one or two languages. I think uh, that should be enough. Uh, all right, so if you really want, uh, if you enjoy this video, if you want to know more about these topics, you really want to be uh, a quant in the future, let me know uh, if I can help you with anything. I do have a course uh, with uh, in all these topics. Uh, let me know. You can contact me. You can find the contact details here. Actually, these are the contacts, but uh, you can also find in the description section of this video. Uh, you know, I have a very beginner friendly, comprehensive course uh, with all these topics covered, right? Uh, suitable for someone who is a beginner. And um, yeah, it, it's quite comprehensive. So you will you will learn a lot of lot of the stuff very applied stuff not just plain theory but very applied stuff okay thanks for watching thanks